In this video I'm going to show you how to use a Contact 5 Multi in a Notion 4 project to provide uh, several instruments from one instance of Contact 5. I'm doing this in a Rewire 2 session where Digital Performer 8 is the Rewire 2 host controller and Notion 4 is running as a Rewire 2 slave. In the Notion project, what you're going to want to do is go to Score Setup, and you're going to uh, click on VST Instruments, and you're going to um, create a staff that uses Contact 5, and that's going to create a staff that looks like this, and that's going to be where the multi is, and then you'll follow up on that by creating some more staves uh, except that uh, the additional staves that you create you're going to click on Notion Instruments and they're going to be special staves and they'll be a basic staff so we'll create a couple more of those I already created one and I've got it assigned to a viola that's a K5 viola you can rename them later if you want to and then you'll exit score set up and you'll save your Notion 4 project. That's always a good thing to do frequently. And when you go over here into the mixer, um, these are the three parts that we just created. This is the viola part that I already created. This is the actual contact instance. And if you click on it, it brings up contact and you can see that uh, there's several instruments already in here in this multi. Uh, there's a Cuban sassy trumpet, solo viola, solo cello, harp, baritone sax, tenor sax, trombone, English horn, French oboe, and a flute. And uh, the way you add more instruments, uh, you can, for example, click here on instruments, and let's say I'll put a clarinet in there. Now I've got a clarinet. And you'll see that each instrument has a MIDI channel. And uh, it's port A, MIDI port A, channel 1 for the trumpet, channel 2 for the viola, channel 3 for the cello, channel 4 for the harp, and so forth. So each instrument in this multi has its own channel. And the way you save a multi is you can go up here, click on Files, Save Multi As. I've, I've already saved it but uh, we'll just save it again and we're going to want to replace it so that's great and that's the way you set up a multi in contact and the key thing is it's got uh, a MIDI port and a MIDI channel for each instrument and you, you can change those and uh, I usually go in here and set the sliders to 0 dB because I like that I think it looks better And that's great. And then um, here's here's how we assign an instrument. You click on this Contact 5 instance, the staff up here. You click on it. That's got it selected. You press Shift key and then the I key. And that brings up this Change Instrument dialog. And here's where you select which channel. And uh, there's ten, 10 instruments. Uh, I've got the first one actually on the contact 5 instance second one is the viola it's on a different staff and I'm going to put a cello on there because that's channel 3 and so that's got that done now I click down here on the this third staff and I press the mouse and then um, that says that the instrument for this staff is now the is now provided by contact 5 and it's the instrument at the third channel. You press the escape key to get out of that. Now let's say this one here um, I want to assign it now so I'm going to go up here and click again on the contact 5 instance. I'm going to do shift I and I want this to be the fourth instrument. So I got that done. Click OK and then go down and click on this staff now it's 
the instrument from channel 4. And I do the same thing again. Click up here, shift I, and select channel 5. And then click down here on this staff. And now this staff is assigned to channel 5. And what we'll see is that, um, so I just paste these notes and uh, paste them right in here. And I'll paste them here and I'll paste them here. And um, now we've got notes and we'll see what this is. Okay, it's probably a violin, I guess. That's a harp. That's a tenor sax, maybe. So, uh, the violin, I think what I want to do on that is, uh, it's a higher instrument. I'll just go in here tools and transpose it and uh, run it up um, an octave, uh, maybe up one octave. So now it's higher. Let's see if that's too high. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is a harp, and so I think I'll just uh, select it, uh, transpose it, um, I don't know, down down a fifth, and I'll do it di diatonic. That would be weird. Okay. Okay, that's a tenor sax. And uh, I'll transpose it. Uh, oh, I don't know what it is. I'll do up a sixth up, uh, and do that diatonic too. That's a little too high. Okay, uh, I'll just transpose that. Uh, how am I gonna transpose that? This was it down by one octave uh, by a, a seventh. Yeah, that would be weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. And so, so here's what it sounds like. Okay, that's great. And uh, let's see, just to make it a little bit uh, different, uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna paste this a couple measures over, and I'll cut that, and I'll start that maybe here, and then I'll take this one and cut it and start it maybe right here, and so that would be. A little bit different, and we'll see how that works. All right, yeah, hold on.
Yeah. And so anyway, that's how that works. And it's, uh, uh, it's not very difficult to do. And uh, it's also kind of a cool way to, you know, to compose stuff. You know, you, you just, you know, I mean, that sounds like, uh, you know, like Bach or something, right? You know. Yeah. Put in some 16th and 32nd notes and, um, you know, it'd be like Mozart, right? Okay, thanks.